getting heavy. That's why it was getting heavy. <laughs> Jeez. My gosh. <clears throat> Just monsters for days. All right, so I'm baiting up now, and I was actually looking for a bag that had a hole in it or something because you know I've been through probably 10 or so and I haven't seen any so these bags have caught about 30 baskets of crabs so far and I've been on about 15 crabbing trips and it's very you know the bags are still intact the zippers are still intact everything's working great I mean I couldn't be freaking happier a hole like that I mean I send when I sell these you know I send zip ties I wouldn't even patch that. I mean, there have been probably two dozen out of all my line, which is pushing 5,000 foot. Been a couple dozen patches I've had to do where it was, you know, significantly a little bit worse than that. And I just patch it up. But all in all, I mean, these things, I'm putting them to the test and they're holding up extremely freaking well. So, you know, I'm just want to show this here because, you know, of course, people be skeptical about stuff and you know bags holding up and you know zippers holding up i'm using them they're holding up great you know <laughs> the product you know if they weren't i wouldn't be freaking selling them like you know i'm not trying to screw people over here like it's a freaking solid product and you save half the time baiting up it's awesome so i'm gonna go ahead and go crabbing tomorrow and it's actually going to be one of my favorite freaking spots you know a spot that i know very well and you know, hopefully I'll do all right. It's a little bit early for this spot, especially with this year, the way it's been. But, you know, we'll go ahead and uh, see what happens. And on one of these lines, one of my short lines, what I'm going to go ahead and do is just to try it out. I've got, I'm not going to do it on this one because this is one of my long ones. I'm going to go ahead and put, um, put these little light sticks in there. You just crack them and throw them in and... You know, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> Hopefully they won't fall out. They shouldn't with the clams and stuff in there. But I'm going to try it on one of my lines. See if it does. It, see if that line catches more crabs or less crabs or, you know, whatever. You know, a trick I used to do is I either take a flashlight or glow sticks and put them in my buoys. Because my tops can come on and off my buoys. So people could see my freaking buoys, like, very clearly, you know. <laughs> I'd even use different colors for different lines so there was no question what went where, you know, before the sun came up. Because, you know, sometimes it gets crazy out there. Got all these commercial guys trying to lay lines and stuff. You know, and I generally crab the same area. And, you know, when you do that, that's, and you do it every freaking day, that's your freaking lay. So I'd get out there super early and make sure people knew where the heck I was, especially on weekends when you got all the extra commercial guys out there. So. Go ahead and try it tomorrow. Uh, place I really like crabbing. Hopefully it's not too early. Hopefully these glow sticks will do something. Actually, I don't know. Maybe hopefully they don't because then there'll be some extra thing I might have to start doing. I don't freaking know. But yeah, go ahead and uh, go tomorrow see what happens. All right, so I've been baiting for quite a bit now and I finally found one that I patched two times. You know, it must have been last time or the time before. That, and it's got two uh, two patches in it. And, you know, that's fine ever since. But, you know, I'm trying to be as transparent as possible with all this stuff. And, you know, of course, these things aren't cheap. So you just patch them up and, you know, it's fine. You know, that's, that's good to go. So, I mean, I patched this one twice. I haven't put more than two patches on any of them. I mean, you just keep on patching them and keep on patching them until the freaking something really fails. But so far, so good. But out of 30 baskets, 15 trips, that's been the most patching that I've had to do. They're still holding up perfectly fine. All right, so I've got S. Sandyessas out here, and she's jumped in front of me pretty significantly because I've been messing around with the camera trying to get it straight. Yeah, but... I was going to be so good at this. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I couldn't even get anybody out here to help me with this stuff before. And now, you know, people come out and help me all the time. So it's freaking awesome. So what do you think about uh, this compared to the old way that we used to do it. Do you rather do it like this? I mean, I don't even know why that's a question. Yeah, I'd rather do it like this. So what we got going on here is, this is one of the short lines that I'm gonna go ahead and 
put these glow sticks in. I'll probably, I'll go ahead and put the glow sticks in because I got to deal with the clams. Okay. And, um, yeah, she's just popping them and I'm loading the clams in. And yeah, we'll see what happens with that. The green glow sticks, they should, um, I guess they'll, hopefully they'll last 24 or so hours. And hopefully they don't fall out of the bag. But, you know, we'll see. See if this does anything or if it's just a ridiculous idea. I'm kind of hoping it doesn't, this line doesn't do super phenomenal with these glow sticks on it. But who knows? You know, it might bring, it might bring more crabs. We'll see you tomorrow. All right, so really early in the morning and I'm looking at the grass and it's not quite as dewy as I'd like to see. It's a little bit brisk. I got, you know, some little bit of clothes on here instead of just like a t-shirt. It's like 60 degrees. The wind's supposed to be south-southeast around nine miles per hour. I like the south. I don't like the east wind. <laughs> like, that's not good. But when I'm crabbing today, it's going to be, I'm going to hit the high tide in about the middle of my day, which is, eh, you know, <laughs> hard, hard to say. You know, it's, it's, it's going to be a weird day as far as um, weather and tides are concerned and where I'm crabbing. And, you know, I don't know if there's anything in this spot. I like this area, but I have no clue there's anything there. I think it might be a little bit too early, especially for this year. But, you know, hopefully these last um, few warm days or pretty warm week heated, heated the water up enough so that, uh, you know, maybe it brought the crabs into where I'm crabbing, out of the mud, whatever. So I'm gonna go ahead and um, load up. I'm gonna check out this, uh, check out my glow sticks to make sure they're still glowing on um, on the lines, on that one line. I ended up just putting the glow sticks on one long line. I thought it was one of my short ones because I got two of my short ones in a barrel, but apparently I don't know which lines are in which barrel. And I ended up baiting up pretty much an entire long line with those glow sticks, so we'll see. All right, so I'm looking at my trot line here and it looks like I still got some glow action when I turn the light off like so you can see the you know see the glow sticks still going pretty strong they're not in the top of the line they're in the bottom you know underneath the top few baits because i only had i only had a hundred and this is a pretty long line so but it's still going so we'll see if that does anything all right it's almost six o'clock and i've only got one line in the water there's freaking people everywhere here I mean, nobody used to crab this area i mean it's just freaking it's it got my mind blown you know that's why i don't even mess with this stuff no more for real like it's just it's just ridiculous but anyway i got one line in i'm getting ready to put my second one in i'm getting ready to put in my glow stick line so you know and it's in not a good spot because all the good spots are messed up they're not even laid right they're just messed up so like you know i'm gonna lay this one and get my other two somewhere and you know see what happens all right, so I'm laying the glow stick line out now, and the good thing is, you know, I'm looking at, I got a lot more line than these other guys, so that's, you know, definite advantage of my system. They're running clams, it looks like. Usually people in here do, because it, it's other, you know, every area is different. This area chicken the clam was just out catch the chicken just three to one like, I mean, I'm crab around people running chicken and i know that for a fact for this area you know it's different everywhere so but yeah i'm running way more line than these other guys thanks to the semi-automatic trial line baiting system so yeah that's going to give me a huge advantage even though i was all late getting out here and everything else Still, hopefully, and I'm in bad spots. <laughs> I'll still hopefully knock the crap out of it. We'll see though. All right, got all my line in the water, and I'm not real super happy about where I have it all laid at, but you know, I just kind of got where I could, and hopefully, the amount of line and the fact that I'm using nice fresh clams will, um, you know, compensate for the not ideal spots. You know, all my old lays here that I crab for years, <clears throat> they're all messed up. So. You know, I'll go ahead and I'm going to run them one time and see what develops here. And then I'll go ahead and film me running, you know, whatever line is doing really good. Hopefully something's doing really good. So we'll see.
All right, so first run got 14 just absolute freaking monsters. I mean, these crabs, they're all like <laughs> top grade, freaking beautiful, amazing freaking crabs. And I mean, 14 of them, look what it did to this basket. And that was the first run. So, and that was my favorite spot that I had to look that line. So we'll see what the, these other three do. All right, so second long line, got seven absolute, just incredible freaking crabs. I mean, <laughs> this is mind blowing what I've been seeing all year. I mean, this is just, it don't get no better than this. Crab quality wise. All right, so first short line, I ended up with three crabs. The quality is just absolutely incredible. So I'm going to check my second short line. So I'm getting ready to get have my whole round done. And I'm coming up on a half a basket already, so this isn't bad. These crabs are so freaking big and nice. I mean, they fill up the basket quick. All right, so third or second short one, that's all my complete round right there. I mean, I'm pushing a half a basket on one round. Right now, it is almost 7 o'clock. So almost 7 o'clock, you know, I, one round, half basket. These crabs, just incredible. So I'll go ahead and film this next round, this next run. All right, so last run on this line, I ended up with 14, which of these colossal crabs is like almost a quarter basket. We'll see if we can't do that again, that'd be great. Look at that, freaking huge. Monster. It don't look like I'm gonna get 14 again this time. Where I've been crab, and that's like a huge crab. Here, it's like <laughs> me. <laughs> that wind's not blowing as hard as they said it was going to be. So that's really good. couple tangles as long as they stay tangled my line don't loosen I just let them be they usually just stay and it's all right like one in ten times you'll be running it and they'll pop loose and you gotta tighten your lines up but otherwise oh well let them be
Uh. Wow. Jesus. <clears throat> Look at those freaking crabs. There's a small one. Another cool thing about this roller is it holds your net perfectly, see? It's like perfect for dragging your net. Don't even need a rope, really. Look at that, man. All right, so doing pretty good. Almost got my basket. Look at that freaking guy. Seven and a half, just beautiful crap. Caught those on the short line, my last short line, the one that was doing the worst. So I'm gonna go ahead and hop on the one, my first long one that's been doing the best. It should be loaded. tide's coming up pretty quick so it's tightening my line up it's getting heavy that's why it was getting heavy <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. My gosh. <clears throat> Just monsters for days. Another reason I built this this roller like this, because you can just, it's real comfortable. You don't even got to put a rope on your net. Works perfect. You can drag net without a rope. It's getting heavy. I think there's one coming. Might have been that snag.
that salt line's moving up the bay real quick as the water warms up. Nice one. I mean, these crabs are so freaking big. They're, they're getting out of my basket. <laughs> like, when there's not even that many in there. Because they've just got so much freaking reach. Alright, good run. Jesus. Alright, it's a little bit after 8 and got my first basket. Just incredible freaking crabs. And they're just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful crabs. So, and as far as the, um, the glow sticks are concerned, you know, I don't think it did much. I'm kind of glad, so that's not an extra thing I have to freaking worry about. <laughs> so, you know. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and keep knocking down for a little while longer. I got so much stuff to do. Today, it's not even freaking funny, so I'm trying to get off this water, you know, relatively early. So, I'm going to keep knocking at them, see what I end up with. Even though it's not real hot yet, and it's not going to be super hot today, with these real big black crabs like this, you know, you definitely want to go ahead and keep them covered up nice and wet no matter what because, you know, if you don't take proper care of them, they will die off pretty quick. All right, I'm yanking. I'm going to go ahead and start yanking lines in. Market opens. It's a little bit after 8.30. Market opens at like 10.30. So, you know, I got so much freaking stuff to do today. It's not even funny. So, go ahead and... Get everything in the boat and get my stuff sold and you know i'll show what i got all together here and it's very directly all right got all my gear in the boat ended up with a basket and eh, pretty heavy one third so not too bad and it is a little bit after nine o'clock so i'm gonna go ahead and um head out of here got everything all packed away in the boat and you know I just I got too much stuff to do I could stick around and keep picking at them but I'm just I've got too much stuff to do <laughs> like I can't you know I got too many people waiting on stuff and I've got too much stuff to do so thanks for watching don't forget to like comment share and subscribe